Get it. Get it, boys. Here it goes. Whoa. Here, I'll throw snowballs at him. Will that help you guys out? Hey, Orva. Welcome back to another Minecraft Summoner episode. It is the rat episode finally it is here i know well we'll see how much it's here because i was doing some you know some streaming i do some streaming and like a lot of the rest stuff we honestly can't touch without going to ratlantis or fighting a certain enemy so i guess we're gonna really begin into the big boy stuff i wanted to split the rat stuff into like you know we hop into the basics and then more advanced and then more advanced but it seems like we gotta get to action but first we have summoner priorities look at these beautiful dust that i have been farming we're gonna go make some spells if you don't tune into the streams obviously you might have not seen this before look at this old spell that i threw out here but we can make our spells now making spells completely random what it gives you uh, i'm pretty sure it's random i don't know i didn't really look into it i'm assuming it's random but yeah you place the uh dust which spawn from the little remnant the little balls that spawn in like those wizard structures and then you get the little dust from them you place them in these receptacles and then you place the thing on the imbuement altar the ruined books and then you get a chance to get a random spell and i'm assuming it's random because when you go like this you hit use here look at this you put your mouse over here look it's random it is just going through a bunch of the spells and as you can see we can get ones that we have we can get ones we don't have so the goal here hopefully is to get some that we don't have some summoner ones specifically so hopefully we get some i've been farming a good bit uh i haven't made like a legit farm with these like balls that spawn and it's because if you guys tune into the streams they literally go through walls <laughs> like they can fly through walls and that's like been the thing that's been like holding me back from making a really good farm with these so what i've been doing is just using like my summons pretty much the bow right here the conjure bow and i've been just killing as many as i can kind of wish this was like terraria you know i get a banner that helps me do more damage after i kill 50 of them that would be a nice help so far our rng is looking like trash awesome haven't got a single new spell let's do some of the uh the summoner spectral dust again i don't think it matters but let's do it anyways boom something new absolutely not we are witnessing game raiders rng it's very simple what game raiders rng is it's i blow all my rng on something extremely rare and then my rng sucks all the time after that and that happened recently i found a woodland mansion on stream right when i was asking to find one so there goes all my rng for like the next couple months maybe it'll come back soon who knows who knows aha we got a new spell it's advanced i'm hoping advanced has a bunch of summon spells i don't know of we really want master ones at this point there's a lot of good master ones that i want so far the game is not giving me that all right here is the hall here i ran out of ruined books aka this thing which is an enemy drop or a loot drop and i just ran out of it so i need some more of those honestly that might be like the thing we need the most i need to set up more spawner stuff but here is our hall we have an advanced book we have an apprentice book uh we have a master book we have a apprentice book we have an advanced book okay so we actually did get a lot this is what i'm gonna do everything that isn't new i delete because having duplicates of books is absolutely useless unless you're just trying to like fill out a bookcase or something like that all right where's my identification boom let's see what we got here let's start with the two apprentice ones i'm honestly surprised i still don't have all the apprentice spells boom we have reversal removes a random negative potion effect and inflicts it upon the target okay it's not that bad next wither fires a ray of darkness which withers anything it touches okay okay not bad don't think i'll be using them what do we got here fire skin sweet cloaks the caster and flames for 30 seconds okay not bad not bad what else disintegration getting a lot of fire spells shoots a powerful bolt of flame a short distance in front of you which causes targets to explode into burning embers when killed okay not bad the one we've all been waiting for master summon skeleton legion oh my god we actually got a new spell you love to see it let's see it in action even though we kind of already know what it does let's see it in action it spawns in a skeleton legion that's what i'm assuming but what type of skeleton legion let's see let us see boom oh my god they have bows 
they have swords and most importantly they are not catching on fire this this is a good summon right here this may be one of our best summons we got our hands on as of recently and as of recent i have got a lot of good variety in summons i actually do want to carry around more wands soon i want to carry wands of like all elements because we have a lot of nature spells see the color of the summons uh that correlates to like what type of nature or what type of wand you need and all the green ones are nature ones or earth ones purple ones are necromancy uh, i have some fire ones on here so i didn't even know that that mattered uh i think this green text this lighter green text is sorcery which i didn't even know sorcery was in this i recently got a sorcery wand but yeah that's good to know so if i really want like more potency or whatever there you go but yeah it is time to get to the rat stuff obviously there's a lot of rat stuff here uh one thing we're gonna have to do oh i need a lightning spell i need a lightning spell because we want to take on a boss but i want to take it on with some rats so i think what i should do i don't know armor rats dragon rats are pretty strong <laughs> and i have tasting and wilma here and they're pretty strong but i think maybe we do need a couple more equip a couple more soldiers here but what should i equip them with that's the question this is really good this rat upgrade battle god bro she need a nether star we can't fight a wither actually i don't know wither might be a little hard i gotta look at these i gotta look at these see which ones are worth making which ones i can make because some of them i can't even make like look at this plague essence we gotta fight a boss we gotta fight the boss that we're trying to fight to get that so uh let me look around a bit here worst comes to worst or like not even it's not even that worse i'll just make more dragon rats <laughs> The more dragon rats, the better. All right, here I am. I have a bunch of new spells. This might be like our biggest haul of spells yet. This is like I'm about to bust open some Pokemon cards. It's exciting, but the reason why I got so many of these is because I was looking for these. Where is it? Boom. Mysterious token fragments. So you can see I have three mysterious token chunks. I still think we need more. It's kind of annoying getting these. I know there is another way we can get our hands on them though. And that's through these tiny coins, which there's a whole like rat thing we can make for it. Where is it? It's it's a coin. It looks like a coin. I think it looks like a coin. I don't know. It's somewhere. But yeah, there's one thing we can make and it makes rats drop coins or something when they kill something. This one, rat drops tiny coins generally or when killing enemies. Okay, it's actually like you can actually make it so maybe we'll make that but yeah forget all the mumbo jumbo let's get to it oh i'm excited well, at least like one or two of these has to be some of their spells boom snow block okay starting off pretty bad boom static charge okay starting off pretty bad boom puppet master hold up commands all of your nearby summon creatures with your one attacking the selected target calling them back to you or marching to a position we can march with our boys okay okay all right let's see the other ones though i want to save the master ones for last obviously i think we're missing the majority of master ones obviously and probably advanced ones obviously i think we have pretty much every single apprentice one maybe except for the spirit wolf which is surprising like how do i still not have the spirit oh spoke too soon uh intimidate emits an intimidating growl which causes nearby creatures to run away in fear nice <laughs> there you go spirit wolf very very nice that we got that spell finally all right let's see these advanced ones here force field summon ice wraith awesome this is the best haul ever literally this is amazing and come on three master ones three master summon spells right here ice age lightning web okay not a single okay it's fine it's fine uh these actually might be really good spells since they are master so uh, i don't know maybe i'll test them out on a stream or something but these are the ones that matter let's see the uh spirit wolf in action here boom spirit wolf ice race let's see him in action all right spirit wolf is just literally a wolf oh it instant summons though at least which is very nice you can make them sit very nice i think you could actually just get rid of them if you shift click like that yeah and then we got ice wraith which does need a charge up, okay? A little loud. When aren't blazes or wraiths like this loud from this mod? They're always loud as hell. But cool. We got some new summons, some new elemental summons. And also a dog. Who doesn't love the dog, even if it's a ghost dog? Look at him. I could pet him. Look at this. 
all right back to the rat theme part of this episode i know uh let's make this uh top hat and all this stuff and let's make this rat and let's get it to kill like something easy because obviously i don't want to fight something hard and get it killed so the goal is to probably just i don't know kill some chickens all right we're here we are making dragon steel currently i got my beautiful dragon also known as imagine got her smelting up some bars over here and uh, with these bars, we're going to make some uh, beautiful dragon steel, which is going to be our next best armor. Honestly, I might enchant this armor with some of the best enchantments we have. I might have to go all out here. All right, let's craft this dragon steel here. Uh, I have the aristocrat chilling. Yep, look, she nodded her head. She's just slowly dropping coins for us. Sweet. But this is what we wanted to see. Dragon steel. It's time to upgrade our armor because I'm tired of my armor breaking. So I just want to finally get to like an ultimate armor set that we have that I just don't have to worry about breaking too often. Look at that. We got some extra bars. Might make a pickaxe. Maybe. But look at it. Let's just put it on. I'm about to enchant it, but let's just put it on for now. Oh my God god with the cape why does the cape gotta click all right take that off look at that oh my god the cape goes so well with it like literally the top of the cape the gray part matches the armor that's so sexy oh my god i look like the damn dragonborn after i just slayed some daedra so beautiful you guys want to see another beautiful thing this next beautiful thing i'm about to show is called fatherhood look at this we got some cockatrices in here and you know who the lovely father is cock himself what's up cock you know he's been having troubles every egg i've thrown that he drops just no babies so look right there it just it just proves no babies so he has decided to adopt and he adopted all these beautiful children here we have the beautiful Jaws, we have the beautiful Cock Jr., the beautiful Nut, the beautiful Cock the Third, Balls, and Block. These are Cock's children. Just, you know, a beautiful thing I just wanted to show you guys. Shout out to Cock, he's a great father. The time has come. We are ready to go to Ratlantis. Finally, it has taken years. I even made an extra piece of token chunks. Oops. Let's go ahead, let's craft it here. Boom, beautiful. What a long achievement name. All right, so we got this right here. Uh, right click anywhere to open a portal to Ratlantis. Now this just makes like a one by one block that like a pillar and then boom, there's a portal. So I should place it just somewhere over here. I don't know, right here could be a good spot. A little Ratlantis portal, maybe even over here, you know, come over here come to the middle okay there is no exact middle i don't know why but a skeleton always spawns here when i log into the world i really don't know why uh okay let's just put it right here i guess i don't know if we could even move this or not so <laughs> uh this is fine oh beautiful all right do i need to do anything before we go in here is there anything specific i need i have no idea if i'm being honest uh let's type in rat here so there's some certain things i'm trying to get my hands on while i'm in here uh i wanted to make where is it this no not that it's the archaeologist there so we need this avatar of ratlantis so whoa, we gotta keep we gotta get a pirate hat which drops from something i know it's a drop it should tell me it's a drop shouldn't it or is this literally the only way to get it maybe that is literally the only way to get it okay there's a reason we're going to ratlantis it's for something it's for drops we need to get the drops to make the archaeology thing a uh, feral rat claw like it's just showing us i swear that like we could see drops and stuff i swear we could see drops because like look how uh, <laughs> how am i supposed to get all this stuff if all of it is made by the archaeologist right we got this who knows what magnificent marvels and ancient civilization or ratlantis created interesting ratlantian automaton head like bullshit that everything comes from him it's just not so showing me the drops and i swear i have a mod in here that shows me drops too so like uh, i don't know like look yeah i'm clicking on raw rat and it won't show me what it drops from so obviously i just don't think the mod that shows me drops is working with the rat mod but let's just go in whatever we are in Ratlantis. Uh oh, I thought there's a portal that sends you back when you come in. I have no idea how to get out of here. <laughs> uh, hopefully we're not stuck here. Do I have waypoints? Uh oh uh all right well i guess we'll find a way out eventually so i have removed a bunch of mods that were causing problems one of the main ones is mo creatures and the mod that goes with mo creatures custom mob spawner completely ruined spawn rates for throughout the whole series anything that did spawn we got lucky that they spawned and now that that mod is completely gone things should work normally uh for example i had to remove it for this rat episode because 
the rats just don't spawn nothing spawns if you have more creatures installed and more creatures is such a legendary mod but it's been broken and jank for so long and the mod developer never cared about it nobody else ever cared about it and every time i try to look up a fix how to fix all that stuff nobody knows because nobody cares <laughs> But yeah, look at this. Rats everywhere. Rat statues. We wait for nighttime, which is coming really soon. And we're going to fight a whole lot of rats. And hopefully these rats drop us what we need. I don't know what other cool things are here in Ratlantis. Other than the blocks. I really like the blocks. They look amazing. I uh, kind of want to... Ow. I don't even know what's attacking me. kind of want to build something out of the... What is attacking me? kind of want to build something out of the blocks maybe for like the portal i don't know we'll see go ahead doggies get it get it kill that thing and get the drop from it is it dead yet i can't even like see the thing kill it there's no way it takes you guys this long there you go so what did it drop it dropped ratlantian spirit flame what is this used for vial of consciousness ah interesting Ah, oh, look, that's one of the things we need for the avatar. Got it. All right, there should be like a bunch of rats in boats swimming around. Or I guess paddling around would be the right terminology there. Aha, look at them. We got rats in boats. They have cannons. Very fun. The only thing is, uh, hello. What just happened? The only thing is, uh, you know, I don't have like the greatest movement in water. So we're going to need one that's like kind of close. What are you fighting over there? What the hell is that thing? That is a big fucking rat. <laughs> Get it. Get it, boys. Get the big ass rats. Oh, God, there's a lot. There's a lot. Hold up. Hold up. Unholy Alliance. Summon the boys. It's my army versus their army. Who the hell is hitting me? It's this stupid spirit attacking me again. Get in there, boys. Get in there. We got to summon the big boys. We're summoning the big boys here. Bring in the legion. Get that rat right there. He's breaking blocks. Don't let him break the blocks. Look at that. That's destructive. Somebody get him. I know it doesn't take that many people to kill him. We're trying to get that hat. That hat is going to be mine, sir. Just like, just take the hat off of him right now. Wait, are we losing this fight right now? I thought we were like dominating. Uh, looks like we're losing. Oh, there you go. His boat's broken. Now beat his ass. He's just a rat, after all. These are big rats, though. The feral ones? Yeah, get the feral ones, too. Get everybody. I think we got a hat drop right here. Oh, we got a sword drop, too. Okay, no no hat drop. I thought I saw a hat, but nothing. Wait, what's this? What is this? Okay, nothing. Garbage. Okay, we didn't get too many interesting drops. Uh, we did get the togas, at least. I'm trying to rat to equip the toga. I don't know what the hell the togas actually do. Maybe make some smarter. Who knows? But yeah, that's literally what we're going to do here. We're going to rinse and repeat. We're going to murder a bunch of rats. Something should happen eventually. I hope Is that guy coming towards me. Oh, damn. What a shot. But yeah, like I said, we're going to we're going to rinse and repeat. Uh, things should work out. We should get some loot that I'm looking for. And then if I come across anything interesting, I'll show you guys. All right. So I've been in Ratlantis for like 10 minutes and I actually did find a portal. I found the portal home. It wasn't where we came into the world. It's somewhere. I don't know where it is now, but it's kind of boring in here. There's nothing to do during daytime. Mobs only spawn at night. I'm pretty sure just in dark areas, obviously, uh, specifically the Ratlantis mobs. We could go underground and find them, but like I didn't come to Ratlantis to go mining, even though apparently the ores here are more common. So if you still need ores, here you go. Come to Ratlantis. But like, apparently, I don't know, I was reading the wiki, I feel like the wiki is not really up to date, because I was reading it, and it said like, there's all this stuff, there's floating ships and stuff, and I don't know, none of it seemed like right because i've been flying around already and i haven't seen a single floating ship anywhere i feel like i would see at least one at least one i know i haven't done that much exploring but like i've done enough to see one at least the thing is i don't know how high they would be floating if there are floating ships where am i let's go this way make sure we go ways we haven't been but like i don't know i feel like for how hyped i've been to go here it's kind of it's kind of disappointing i wish it was just a little bit more a little bit more right uh like the story behind ratlantis is like it's a failed rat civilization uh and like all the rats 
I don't know, they're like feral and stuff now. It's a failed civilization, Ratlantis. And uh, there's supposed to be a lot of rats around in togas. I don't know, they're not spawning. You know how it is with this series and mod pack. Things just don't like spawning correctly. But uh, I, I guess I'll just fly around, wait for nighttime, do the usual, and we'll see what happens. All right, after years, literally years of farming, I have some loot, not a lot. Uh, but we're gonna try our best here to get this thing the avatar of ratlantis because once we get that archaeology rat life is gonna be way easier so there's a couple things we need to craft here uh we had to pretty much summon in some bosses we gotta fight that's how it's gonna go and that's how we get some more of the pieces for the avatar of ratlantis so that's what we're gonna do uh let's see here though so let's start with this we need to make a bottle a bottle of something where the hell is it i saw it there it is vial of consciousness okay easy very easy we could do that no problem let's make one of them because i i think that'd be enough i hope uh what do i use rat gloves for okay so we got these petals i don't know if i could replant these or what but they're pretty easy to get you just like bone meal a bunch of uh grass and ratlantis and then every now and then these will pop up i have no idea if i could just you know pick that up please i have no idea if i could just do this Okay, I don't think I can. Uh, it's all good. We'll figure it out. We'll get a stable source eventually. But in the meantime, it's fine. We'll, we'll do it how we do it. Like this. Boom. So we got that. Uh, what else do we need? Claw. Got it. Uh, and then we'll, it was something else. These things. Got it. And that should make this. So we need to throw this at a feral Ratlantean, I believe. It says right here, with the Ratlantean spirit and feral rat claws, make sure to throw it at a feral Ratlantean, which is the big rat with claws that attacks us. So we throw it at one of those. They turn into a boss. I think a boss, if not a mini boss. Uh, on top of that, we got to make this gem of Ratlantis. This will also create another mini boss. I'm hoping none of these mini bosses are too hard. Uh, I guess we're going to see, aren't we? I do have golden apples. I guess I should maybe store some potions in here too. So let me see. We got holy water. Yeah, I might as well take a couple of those. This could probably be useful. Okay, be a yeah, rat glove. And then what, we just surround it with emeralds. That's nice and easy of a recipe. Boom. So there's that. And then we use this. We can either make a combine upgrade, which is a really cool thing. Uh, we actually need one for the Avatar Ratlantis, but we need it for this Ratlantian Automaton Core. Now, this core, we have to pretty much make a rat automaton and then we fight it and it drops stuff. I'm hoping the stuff it drops is 100% drop rate. If not, that's going to be kind of annoying. But look at this. You get, you get the little heads. You place the head on everything once you set it up. It's pretty much like a wither, but set three heads, just one head, and then this in the middle. Uh, but yeah, we're obviously going to do that in Ratlantis. Let me make sure I have all the right stuff here. I should. I should be good. I mean, if I die, you know, it, it happens. I, I die. It, it could happen. But I'm pretty sure I'm good. I don't know. I feel like low-key my spell has been kind of weak. Like low key, we have not been seeing too many new summons as of recently, so it's a little bit annoying. I need like some really strong summons is what I need, but it's all good. It's all good. We'll, we'll fight it. So I don't really know a good arena to fight these bosses at. Is there a uh, feral rat down here by any chance? No? Okay. But uh, I guess let's just do it. Let's see what happens. Let's see how hard the fight is. Hopefully it's not too bad. So let's start with this one. This one I should be able to craft right now. It's about to be nighttime, isn't it? It's all good. So I think it's like this. Boom. And then we put the head on top. I think I... Did I, did I do it wrong? Okay, maybe I did it wrong. Okay, I found this other rat instead. Let's fight this one. Here it goes. Whoa! Neo Ratlantean. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, this may not be a fair fight. I kind of chose not a great arena to fight in now that I think about it. But I have a bow. Don't worry. Where is he? He's over there. Look at him. I'm going vibing over there. You know, while he's vibing, I'm going to hit him with a couple of arrows. Oh, he's moving too much. He's moving too much. It's like a mini game now. Is this even a real fight? Oh, my God. He's too fast. Are you telling me I'm not hitting him? I'm definitely hitting him. You giving me levitation? I appreciate that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm about to die. I just noticed that. What the hell? <laughs> okay, this fight, I, I, I should have thought more about it. I didn't know how it was going to go down, to be honest. I really don't, like, have projectile summons. 
Like, I don't have good projectile summons. You know what? Take that off. Why am I still flying? How long do I levitate for? I can't see anything either. I hate Minecraft mobs that just, like, set you on fire. Because, like, you just legit can't see anything. And it's so annoying. Here I go levitating again. I don't even know where the boss is. I need to kill this boss because I spent precious materials. It doesn't help that there's vanilla mobs assaulting me too. This feels just like Terraria. I'm trying to fight a boss and we got a bunch of mobs just walking towards me, annoying me. All right, so this seems like this is one of those fights where like I can't exactly use my summons. I have to conjure in my bow. Which, you know, I expected to happen a couple of times in this series. A good example is the Wither first phase. I don't think my summons can kill the Wither first phase. I did a stream recently where I killed some withers and like none of my summons could touch the first phase of the wither. They can touch the second phase fine. I usually use them to finish the second phase, but like the first phase of the wither was literally impossible for my summons to do damage. Cause like I don't have projectile summons. Or the ones that I do, they're not exactly the greatest. So I feel like we still need a little bit of oomph, you know? The thing is I have so many summons that like it's hard as hell for me to find new ones at this point. Like, I legit find, or not summons, but just spells in general. Like, I just find the same spells over and over. <laughs> I gotta, like, set up, like, a spell, a certain spell farm of some sort. What is happening, bro? They better not break my armor. This is, uh, very hard to get armor. I wouldn't say hard to get. Very time-consuming armor is what I would say. It's kind of annoying when he makes me levitate, but it's also kind of useful because, like, I get some nice shots on him when I'm levitating. I wonder if I brought my rats to help. Would they be very useful or would they all die and I would be sad about it? See, that's the one reason why I don't like using, like, all my tameable mobs to fight. Because what if I bring all my rats and they all die? It's like, that, now that's a waste of time right there if all my rats die. You know how long it takes to kill them many dragons? It's not even, like, hard to kill that many dragons. It's just kind of annoying to kill that many dragons. We are very close to finishing this fight, though. I want to see if I can get up close and personal and maybe get some summons to help out and do some damage. I kind of doubt it, though. But let's see. Let's see. Let me get in here. Where he at? It looks like he kind of just kind of levitates away when I get closer to him. <laughs> like, he always keeps a certain distance. So I don't know if I can even get near him. All right. He's at, like, one health. Let's see if I can get near him and summon something. Let's see. Look at him. He's running. Like, I can't. I can't. I literally can't fight this guy with summons. Get him, boys. Can you hit him? No, not hit. Not them. All right. Let's just finish him off. Wait, is he dead? <laughs> I think he died. But where did he die at? I didn't shoot him. I hope I can find his loot because, you know, I, did, I didn't I didn't land the last shot. Or maybe I did, like, on accident somehow. I don't know. Let's go over here. Let's see. I hope he died somewhere because that was a long... Oh, there you go. Thank God. But yeah, again, that's a, that's an instance where, like, you know, you can't really do uh, my actual summons to fight that thing. But I am able to conjure a bow. Conjuration is a school of summoning. So that is a lot. I do actually have this thing right here, this flaming axe, which I could summon this dope axe look how cool this thing looks does good damage i swear there's a conjure sword spell but i've never gotten my hands on it at least in this playthrough i swear i've gotten in it in like the last world that i did because you know i did like multiple worlds before i settled on this one i swear i got conjure sword on one of the worlds but of course not the one that i'm gonna stay in the whole entire playthrough but yeah there you go neo ratlantian dead we got the psionic rat brain which is used for a lot of stuff actually wow look at that non-believer a thousand base rat health jesus next up we need this thing arcane technology so oops we did try and summon in the Ratlantian Automatron, but I think you actually have to summon it in the overworld. I think that's where we went wrong. So we're going to go to the overworld. We're going to try and resummon it and it should work. Uh, hopefully my summons are going to be able to actually fight that one. We'll see. All right. So I'm at the area where we found our first rat. Yes, sir. It was in this area and it only makes sense that we fight the Automaton here. I'm, I'm doing something wrong. I'm obviously doing something wrong. What is it? What could I be doing wrong? 
Maybe the head doesn't go there. This is literally what what it looks like on the wiki. Is you got the the core in the middle. The head is the last piece. Maybe it's because it's touching snow. I, I have no idea, bro. Maybe it's not in the version I'm playing in. That's one thing that I notice is that most of the features are in the 1.16 version, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, there we go. Couldn't be touching sand. Of course, I knew that. Hey, I'm over here. Let's get the boys on them. Come on, boys. Get to it. Get his ass. You guys can actually fight him. Get his ass. Get his ass. Here, I'll throw snowballs at him. Will that help you guys out? <laughs> I'm going to let my summons do a majority of the work. Good job, skeletons, for doing nothing. Go ahead and get some more Unholy Alliance, more packs on them. I guess I should probably help out a little bit. Let me summon in Flaming Axe. Just so this fight isn't, like, prolonged for no reason. Let me get in there, get a couple hits in. Hey, you're an automaton. Shouldn't you, like, touch water and, like, break down? I don't know. I feel like that makes sense. Oh, shit. It's just me. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Summoning in the boys. Summoning in the boys. Get my backup going on. Damn, you still after me, though. You're not going to kill me, though, bro. You're not going to kill me. You should just attack the summons because you might have a chance of killing them. I don't know about me. Dude is just swinging at me, bro. He's just landing blows on me. They're not doing that much damage. But he is just landing blows on me right now. Let me get some golems in here, you know. Get all the boys in here. Let me get some skeletons in here, you know. Get some skeletons in there. Go get them. Help out, skeletons. Nah, they kind of don't want to help. Okay, it's understandable. Let me whip out the bow here. Get some help in there with the, the long range. I hope that projectiles hurt him. Let's see. Yeah, they do. They do. He's got some range on him, bro. God damn. Silverfish swarm. Get the swarm on him. I might have to bring in some more dogs. More dogs. Some more skeletons. Just stay off of me, man. Stay off of me for a second. Let me get some shots on you. He does have projectiles too, so we do we do gotta kind of worry about that. But like, come on, I'm not gonna die. Am I gonna die? No, I'm not gonna die. There we go. The Atadamatan is dead. <laughs> and look at that. He drops these. I believe these are guaranteed drops. Thank God for them being guaranteed drops. Imagine if the drops from the bosses were rare. I would slap myself. So we got the ancient saw blade makes a rat upgrade separator ah so you know how you can combine these upgrades together into one this is how you separate them cool and then we got this the arcane technology any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic who knows what magnificent marvels the ancient civilization of ratlands has created boom look at this we can make the ratinator which is like a terminator rat we can make this the non-believer thing or we put it into the ratlantis avatar come on i i think we know what i'm doing i have to make this guy because this guy will be the one that gets us all the artifacts and stuff very easily so we don't have to farm everything so that is exactly what we're doing i think we should have everything now let me look. Yeah, we have everything. All right, let's do it. I'm hoping the durability of the pirate hats don't have to be like a full durability. Let's hope so. Yeah, let's take everything that I think I need here. Hopefully I have everything. I better have everything. I swear to God. Boom. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the gem. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I had to go grow more rat gloves. Okay, okay. Let's do it. It's time. I gotta actually make it. Where is it? Boom. Boom. What? Do I need to be in... Ratlantis. Oh, there's always something, huh? There's always something. Right? Don't tell me it's the pirate hat. I'm gonna be mad as hell if it's the pirate hat. This is three pirate hats. I'm about to combine into one. Oh god. I don't even think it's enough durability, bro. <laughs> I gotta I gotta put like mending or something on it. Ah. Uh, always something, huh? Game raiders just can't have an easy life. Of course not. Okay. I can actually craft it, but watch this genius plan right here. I have mending on here, right? Uh, I want that mending back, though. I kind of do. So, uh, do I need to get the mending back? See, what I could do is I disenchant it, and then boom, I'll get the mending back. The only thing is it'll take durability off of it, so I would have to use a pirate hat to repair it. I don't know if that's worth it. I, I guess we could just lose the mending. The thing is, I don't have a lot of mending books. I, don't, I might that might have been my only mending book actually. It's the one that I just used for this hat. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's worth it anyways. It's not like it, we're not using it for a good reason. But boom, Avatar of Ratlantis. Bam. Give me an achievement. No achievement. This is like the hardest thing to work up to. Uh, uh, <laughs> no achievement. Okay, whatever is fine. Let's make the uh, archaeologist, aka the main thing that we've been trying to get our hands on here. For some reason, like my FPS is dropping when in this menu. 
I don't know what it is, but the FPS is abysmal when I'm in my inventory now. All right, so we need bones, we need an upgrade, we need a, a iron shovel, and uh, something else. What the hell was this something else? Iron shovel and pickaxe, is that what it was? Easy, no problem. There you go, archeologist. Which lucky rat is becoming an archeologist today? You will become the archeologist. Uh, I will be taking your helmet, boom. There you go. He is now an archaeologist. I don't know. I don't know what you do since they're an archaeologist. Do I give them stuff? I have no idea. It researches held items. Okay. So what, what item can we research here? What is something we could do? This. Actually, I don't have a rabbit's foot. Never mind. Uh, blue orchid. I don't think I have that either. Okay. Off to a bad start in terms of things I want to research. Aha. Emeralds, he turns straight into gems of Ratlantis. All right, before we have him start researching things, I obviously, I got to give my boy another archaeology hat just for him to, to fit the part. I want my boy to wear the hat. See, I feel like the rap mod, I don't know if it's like this in the 1.16 version, but they should wear the hats. They should wear the hats of the upgrade instead of me having to make the hat again and give it to him. Because, like, come on, it just makes sense that they would wear the hat, does it not? All right, let's see how long this takes. If it's really quick... Oh my god, that's quick as hell. That makes life so much easier. I don't have to farm for forever to get all this stuff. This is beautiful. This is amazing. This archaeology stuff is going to allow us to do so many things now. I think. I don't know, actually. <laughs> uh, I have no idea like what upgrades I wanted and stuff. Pirate hat. How do we get a pirate hat? We need a Pied Piper hat. Pied Pipers do actually spawn in now. Is it nighttime? Oh, it is nighttime. Are you good? Did you do everything? Okay, so it's nighttime now. Uh, let's look around because, like I said, I fixed the uh, spawn rates of actual mobs. Look at the mini map. There's actually mobs spawning. All the red stuff everywhere. So we might actually be able to see a Pied Piper, which is like a pillager, illager that tries to command rats and stuff. So if we find one of them, you know, we kill one of them, boom. We get that Pied Piper hat. We research it. We get a completely repaired. Well, I don't know about completely repaired, but we get a potentially completely repaired pirate hat, which would be uh, very, very nice. Or I could just do like the mending thing. The thing is, it's kind of harder to get mending in Minecraft 1.12 because it's Minecraft 1.12. Mending is not as easily accessible, unlike uh, the current version where you legit can just get it super easily. Hey, there's a wizard. I didn't know wizards just spawn out in the open. Or we're supposed to just spawn out in the open. See? Because Mo Creatures is gone, we actually see mobs at night. This is amazing. We've been missing this, uh, missing out on this the whole series. There's a lot of gold. Who's dropping all the gold? The slime is dropping all the gold? But yeah, I guess I'll look around, see if I see a Pied Piper. I probably won't. All right, so I think it's officially time to end this episode. I know there's a lot more rat things we can do, but in terms of how long I've been working on this episode, you know, it's a lot of off-camera work, a lot of stuff that has been getting done, a lot of streams in the background. Uh, we will continue with more rat stuff eventually. Uh, I do want to get my hands on a bunch of this stuff, but it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to get our hands on some of these things. It's a little grindy of a mod in terms of uh, certain things. But now that we have this guy, this guy should help out a little bit. But yeah, I'm ending this episode off here. Next episode, I believe we should fight the Andrew Dragon next episode. Get it done. I'm more than likely going to have to do it myself. Uh, because, like I said, I don't really have a very good projectile shooting summons. So, we'll, we'll, we gotta see. I did get my hands on some spell books here. And I think I found a really good way to get like a bunch of xp so you see these towers oh it's nighttime again i might be able to look for a pied piper you see these towers over here not towers these buildings these buildings right here the cobblestone is made out of silverfish so, or monster stone whatever the hell it's called so if we break this and just start attacking with our summons or just start attacking with a bow axe whatever literally all like 50 60 blocks here that our cobblestone will turn into silverfish and you get so much xp from it on top of the xp we get our hands on these ruined spell books ruined spell books we can make actual spells from which gives us a chance to get our hands on more summons so i might have just found a little little cheese we can do there and it also gets us like 30 something levels that's how many levels i got like 32 levels which is insane so i might have found a little cheese i could do with these things but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video 
leave like any like rat tips in the comments i guess but yeah next episode ender dragon episode i need to get the ender dragon out of the way because i'm trying to loot some end cities i feel like end cities are probably gonna have the best loot they usually have the best loot in the vanilla game and i need to see what they have in the modded game because i'm running out of areas to loot and get spell books from it's currently the only way to get new spell books is literally making them myself and that's you know that's random whether you'll get a new one or not for making them but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that episode i'll see y'all next time